Hello fire signs, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be looking into your love life and what you have to look forward to with Venus moving into Cancer, which it did so today. So the first card is going to be more of what is coming towards you in love. The second card is going to be advice and the third is gonna be more of your future, your outcome um, with the energies that are here today. So Venus being in Gemini, I mean, it definitely was a very social time, but honestly, this, this Venus in Cancer, I'm very excited about it. And so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, um, I definitely think this could be of you kind of recharging your batteries in love, you know, this time for you of just sitting back and allowing yourself to be pampered and nurtured in the way that you should be. So for love coming in, So love coming in your advice and outcome energy so for love coming in we have some three of swords type energy now with this deck this doesn't have to be as doom and gloom <laughs> as in the other like a rider weight type deck um let's get a clarification on if this is a three of swords is this an internal three of swords or is this a physical three of swords Okay, so we have Seven of Swords. So yeah, this is more of a physical um, Three of Swords. So you're gonna be cutting someone off. Um, let's see, what is your advice for this process? Oh gosh, Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this is a uh, Queen of Pentacles. She's actually one of my favorite. Um, Queen of Pentacles is definitely that chick who is um, just kind of sitting, lounging. She has like a Chanel handbag. Um, her clothing is all designer. She probably has some type of cocktail in front of her and she's just very um, feminine, but also very just secure in herself. This definitely is the card of, you know, independence and obviously your finances because this is a pentacle card, but also I think in love, it's kind of like you set the pace in your relationships and things just come towards you. Um, this definitely isn't a follow the leader type card. So whatever you're cutting out, it definitely was not serving you in, um, it was not making you feel, you know, queen of pentacles type vibes. So this might actually be for the best um, oh my gosh. All right, so for future energy, you have Ace of Wands. Yeah, you guys, oof, you have a lot of passion coming in. You can see the twin flames back there in the fireplace. It's about the start of something new. This is about a new beginning. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this Three of Swords and then this Seven of Swords, if this was something that happened during the Venus in Gemini energy. And so where you probably had quite a few people just... <laughs> I don't want to say like on the roster, but you know, you, you had your choices. And so now I think you're going to be cutting off what isn't going to work for you, you know, in the long term. And you're just going to be focusing on that, that supports new beginning of passion, but also supports you as just being more of that queen type vibe. So with your money and your confidence, that type of security where it's like, no one can take this away from you. I definitely see you taking um, lots of action. You definitely are going to be money oriented. Just know Venus is also um, one of our money planets and Cancer. No one likes to talk about it, but Cancer is a money sign. They are some of the best at finding resources and just making it happen. Um, they, they have to feel safe and secure <laughs> basically in all aspects of their lives, not just knowing that their lover loves them and um, you know needing that constant reassurance, but they also need that reassurance in their finances too. So I definitely see money being on your mind and um, probably money coming to you a little easier, but it definitely is gonna take some action on your part, but I think this is just gonna be kind of natural to to you you're you're probably really going to enjoy the next 30 or so days so on the bottom of our deck we have the eight of cups 
And so I love the Eight of Cups because this isn't what people think. It isn't about you just walking away and going and crawling under your rock somewhere. This is you cutting off the dead end, that excessive weight, and you're moving to something better. And so whatever changes that were ushered in with this eclipse that we have, we are like smack dab in the middle of eclipse season, just FYI, it ain't over yet. Um, and so yeah, whatever you're walking towards, it's, it's gonna serve you so much more than whatever path you were just on so we definitely have some reality changes so whatever reality you were on it's going to be a lot different than the current one which the one we're on right now i feel like is more of that of change and of transition and so whatever you're moving into i think for you fire signs it's it's going to be amazing like it definitely is going to serve you